Afton Station has been a Route 66 fixture since the 1930s when it was a full-service gas station. But these days it draws motorists for a different reason. It is a museum of sorts, a tribute to the Mother Road. A Connecticut couple, Laurel and David Kane, founded on purpose in 1999. We just decided that we would um, pack it all up and pack up the antique cars and the Route 66 memorabilia and find a place to restore on Route 66. And we traveled the entire length of Route 66 from Chicago to LA in one of the old cars, incidentally. And this is the place we found. We thought it would be large enough to display the cars and have this little visitor center. Laurel's collection of Route 66 memorabilia is spread through the front of Afton Station. Campy things like a pennant from the Painted Desert, packages of Route 66 raisins, and a program from the International Transcontinental Foot Race of 1922. But there's so much more to see, including a beautiful old DeSoto automobile right up front. But in the back of the station is the real car collection, David Kane's collection of old Packards some truly beautiful cars. They weren't built for the masses, I guess. The type of an automobile is a pretty high-end car. Uh, they were the cars that in the old days that um, the guys at General Motors strive to, to build a car like it, and, and hence a Cadillac. Ford uh, got into the Lincolns because of a car like a Packard. Uh, and so they were doctors and lawyers and, uh, you know, Indian chiefs types of automobiles. You can marvel at the power in this 12-cylinder speedster. You can admire the graceful and artistic lines of the signature Packard hood ornament, the donut chaser, the collectors call it. Or just remember how they used to build cars. Perhaps this is the first Hupmobile you've seen. David and Laurel are no longer married to each other, but they are friendly partners in this unique Route 66 landmark, and they still share a love for the Mother Road. I think people just want to get back to their, their roots and get out of the rush and the hurry-scurry and see the small towns and see what's between the small towns and look at cows and goats and, and silos and not always look at the city. And that is particularly wonderful when it comes to our foreign visitors because in the past they have always just flown into New York and then maybe flown to LA or something. Now they're seeing the middle and all of us who are here in the middle and we like that. <laughs>